Thursday today and it is 5 to 8. Uh, Alfie is over here. Uh, James is still in bed and so is Owen. Um, Owen is not well, so there is no school today for him. Uh, he was sick um, and he had a temperature. I think it's just, it's just basically flagging building up and making him sick. He has a cold. Uh, but with the temperature, I just don't want to risk it. He's not really himself anyway. Uh, he even went back to sleep, which is not like him. And yesterday he was in bed at half six, which is not like him either. He's not a sleeper and he will do everything to try and avoid sleeping. So when he asks to go to bed at quarter past six, usually I know there's something not right. Um, so yeah, I'm not gonna bother. Oh, there's Owen. Hello. Come and see me. You went back to sleep, didn't you? Yeah. That's very good. Come and see me. He woke up at about half six and he went back to sleep. Oh, I was sick. He was sick, I know. Yeah. You're gonna stay at home today, okay? Yeah. When I go to school because you're sick? Yeah. Okay. I really want to watch something. You're gonna watch something and you, do you want to have some breakfast? I really want to watch something. Not now. Maybe later on, okay? You can watch some cartoons for now? Once no. one to no. or? No, I said I want... I want something like that. So cartoon to the lot. Do you want Octonauts or Team Amizumi? Uh, I want to watch... Uh, Do you know? Towers. Okay, you can watch the towers. Fine. Wanna go and put it on? Yeah. So yes. Yeah. It's just yes. Yeah, so I'll give you breakfast in a minute. Um. Yeah. Like I said, he's not really himself. So yes, we're gonna stay home. James has an appointment <coughs> at nine. I also have a sore throat. Last week I had a sore throat and I took enough tablets to get past the cold, not get it completely. And it's coming back again, so I'm going to try again to avoid it. But I think that there's going to be a point where I'm just going to have to have it properly to get it over and done with. But yeah, fingers crossed it's not just yet. Um, I have my appointment at the beauty therapist at quarter past 11. And I need to get a shower at some point. And James is going to be away, so I don't know how this is going to happen. Um, but yeah, we're just going to try and find a way because my hair is just disgusting and washed badly. I've just finished um, there are quite a lot of work I needed to do. Um, I'm doing a partnership with a few bloggers um, in the next few weeks and um, I just needed to do some of the work. I have finished completely one of them now uh, which I'm glad I did. Um, I've been trying to finish it for the last few days but it was taking a lot of time and I was always, always running out of time right during the day and last night I basically uh, worked until midnight um, sorting out orders and ordering supplies and things like that uh, that should me, be me uh, done for that for the next week or two so that's good and then I have one more um, preparation for another blog um, to do but I'm, as long as I have it done by tomorrow I'll be happy so yeah, I'm going to get ready now and go to get my eyelashes and eyebrows done. And I probably will do a shot before when I write there. So there's a before and after um, to for you to see the difference. So this is me and my eyebrows before. I probably will be very red after, but you'll get a difference anyway. So before I show you my eyebrows and all, I just want to say, when I do say I have a very reactive skin, this is what I mean. Okay, so I don't know if you can see. Uh, I, this has been done, I have, it's been finished for over half an hour now. And this is what I look like. <laughs> so usually I don't plan to go to places right after I've got my eyebrows done because that's how my skin reacts. Um, it's normal, it's just that I should react stronger than other people. But yeah, I'm very happy with the results. Uh, I think that the hair, she, the color she got for my eyebrows is a pretty good match 
to my um, hair and I'm very happy with my lashes I have absolutely no mascara on there and this is I love this treatment I think it's just brilliant because it means now for six weeks I don't wear any mascara and I get to look like if I am wearing some and there's a little Owen how are you feeling now um good good yes. are you feeling better he's halfway through a pizza yeah he's eating some pizza mm -hmm. and he's looking much better and we're gonna check the temperature though because we still feel a little bit warm. We're gonna check this. Owen well, still has a bit of temperature, so I'm just gonna give him more paracetamol. But um, it seems better overall. And he hasn't been sick, has he, James? Mm -hmm. He hasn't been sick there, has he? No. Okay. Well, no sickness. There, so fingers crossed. That's him. All sorted soon. Gonna be all better soon. We're gonna take some medicine to make you all better. Yeah. Okay. James is uh, asleep now, and so is Alfie. Um, he had to get up during the night as well, so he's just catching up on sleep. Owen is watching Octonauts, and I need to sort out all the books uh, in my decluttering mission. I, I this week I'm give, given myself two different uh, categories of things to sort through. And it's books and DVDs uh, and video games because they are tidied up together in the same furniture. So I'll just do both at the same time. So then tomorrow um, or Saturday, we can bring everything we don't want to keep to the charity shop with the clothes and the toys we've already put aside. So because all the books, um, that basically our main bookcases are in our bedroom and James is asleep, I'm not going to do that now. I'm going to start with the DVDs and video games. So I'm just going to first gather all the DVDs and games inside the house and bring them down in the living room just so I can see everything and then get started and I will show you in the end um, what it looks like. I think after that the next category I will do will be makeup. Even though I don't wear that much makeup because I studied uh, beauty therapy and as a makeup course, um, I own a lot of makeup. I used to do makeup for weddings and stuff like that uh, in the past, so I have a big selection. But some of them are out of date, need to go out in the bin. Uh, some of them I'm not using and I'm not really doing makeup for weddings and stuff like that anymore. So there's no point in me keeping anything that is... Um, not really for my skin. My sister is coming next in the next three weeks or something like that <clears throat> on the 16th of October. I think that's three weeks away or something. Uh, it's actually actually exactly three weeks today. She has darkened skin than me <coughs> so she may be able to use some of those. So I'm going to keep some aside for her uh, and I want to see I know that it's very hard to donate uh, stuff like that for hygiene reasons and I know they will not accept any liquid um, uh, makeup products but I think you can donate some um, makeup items to women's shelters I need to check if there are any around me and if they would take them or not because it's not something I can just easily give away so it would end up in the bin so I'm thinking if it can benefit anyone um, would be glad about that really uh, but otherwise I'm, I know there's some that will have to go in the bin because they are just not good anymore so yeah that's um, the program my decluttering mission for the next few categories so I'm going to start with the DVDs now and I will show you once I've made some progress actually I just realized I um, need, I'm making a slow cooker recipe tonight and I haven't put it on and usually it takes quite a few hours to cook so I'm going to do that before I do the DVDs
all done. So these are all the these and these all the children's one. These are all the French ones and my girly ones. And these are all kind of James's uh, or movies that are for both of us. And then I decided also to sort out all our CDs. A lot of those boxes are actually empty because the CDs are in cases in the car. Um, and then here we have that's kind of the box with like all the different things we just need to keep, but I don't have any other thing. These are all candles and uh, decoration things. And these are all like activities to do with Owen, uh, little board games, uh, beads, uh, cards, etc. This is a bin bag. There's some games that are going to be given to people there. This is one of the charity shop things. In my car, we started to put stuff we're going to bring to the dump later, like boxes, etc. These two bags are all games and DVDs uh, that are going to the charity shop. So here we have a bag with toys and games. That's some children's clothes and shoes. And there's also that box is filled with uh, baby clothes as well. So this is next, basically. These are books that were down the stairs I've brought up. Uh, I've already removed the ones I don't want to keep and left them downstairs. I'm out of breath because that's super heavy. <laughs> okay, I just found some books with all my school pictures and I thought I would share that with you. Now, warning, I did have a Playmobil haircut at some point and my teeth were not always very straight. Not that they are perfectly straight right now, but compared to what it was, believe me, <laughs> it was bad. So, this is me in preschool. Um, in France we start school at three, uh, but I was two and a half there because I started a bit earlier. <coughs> and that's the second year, and the third year, fourth year, and then are you are you ready for the helmet slash Playmobil haircut? Tan tan tan! It's amazing, isn't it? Um, then that got a bit better. It kind of grew. Um, then for the next one, I'm just going to hide a bit of the picture because my sister is on them as well and I don't want to publicly show her baby pictures if she doesn't want to. And then the next one is an amazing haircut. This is when my tomboyish time started, I think. Um, and then we have the amazing fringe, uh, which is, uh, you would say, fantastic. And then... Um, it just kind of became very strange. Uh, I was actually wearing, I'm going to try and find the group picture to show you what trousers I had on that day because I do remember. Then this is when I, my hair grew. It was actually much later than that. I'm missing some pictures. I don't know where they are, but this is about two years after. And then uh, I had a, hair a haircut accident uh, where the, basically the half of my head got shaved by the hairdresser who didn't listen to me so I wore my hair very short with these hair clips while it was growing and it was a horrible time and I hated it and I'm missing the last picture of my uh, school years but yeah basically that was me through the years amazing isn't it I quite like that one I mean yeah if I have to pick I'd rather look like this so this is everything that is to be donated I have a few craft and sewing books I might see on my page if anyone would like uh, to get them and this is what is left of my side and then this is all James's so um, he needs to go through it all and basically see what he wants to keep or not but that's already looking much better and I even have a bit of room there for uh, my folder I have the magazines I'm gonna Take the pages out of, and I'm going to make a folder with, and I'm going to just put the folder in here. There is James's side done too. That's much better looking, really. And we have kept those board games there, but all the stuff that were at the top of mine are gone as well. We have some drawers that go under the bed where the board games will be stored into later on as well. These are the two bags who, which we are bringing. Um, that have books in them. I'm now going to go through this pile of magazines and um, just rip the pages of the projects I want to keep and then I'll make a folder out of them. Yeah. 
Yeah, what are you going to do? Can it fly? Is it a spaceship or something? No, it's a Star Wars spaceship. A Star Wars spaceship, okay. Can you show me how it flies? Can it go fast or not? It can go fast. Okay, let me see that. Wow. Can it go really fast? Oh wow! It goes super duper 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 fast. <laughs> super duper 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 fast? Yes. Yeah. Like it goes fast. <laughs> and it is nice. So I just got this one I want. Okay. Are you feeling better now? Yes. Do you think you're going to be better to go to school tomorrow? Yes. Yeah. But, but, but look at this. Yeah. The posh need to be one here. Mm-hmm. And then, and then, it's like, we shall have the wings. One people. Don't touch them. These are the things that I have um, ripped out of the magazines. And I have a massive uh, rubbish bag there that will go in my car as well because it's going to the dump. Oh. I have a dream, my home will come true, that you're here with me, and I'm here with you. I wish that the earth see the sky up above, send me someone to love her. So this is the pineapple uh, chicken. It smells really nice. Uh, once again, the sauce is quite uh, liquid. Uh, there's quite a lot of pineapple juice in the sauce. Um, and I would like it a little bit more set and caramelized, so I am going to reduce it in the wok, like I've done with the previous one. So it is, and there is the leftover for tomorrow's lunch. Now I'm just um, taking my boxes for today. I just have to write a letter, and then I'm finished for today. I'm going to stop the vlog here for tonight. Um, I'm glad I had a. I managed to have a productive day today. There was managed to do quite a lot. Whenever I saw one was sick, I thought, "Oh God, <laughs> I'm not going to be able to do much." And in the end, it turned out he was much better um, quite quickly during the day. I mean, his temperature was still up a little bit during the day, but it didn't seem to bother him that much anymore. So that was good. He went to bed there with no temperature anymore, and he hasn't had any painkillers since lunchtime. So. Hopefully that's him over this, or it will probably come back the next few days, we don't know. But anyway, for the minute he's okay, and as far as it goes tonight, he's going to school tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow I have quite a few things to do. In the morning I have a doctor's appointment, and then uh, at 3 in the afternoon I have an eye test, and I will probably have to pick some new glasses as well. Uh, we need to go to the charity shop to bring everything and we need to go to the dump to bring all the stuff we are throwing out. Uh, but yeah, the decluttering uh, madness <laughs> frenzy has well and truly started now so I'm glad. I'm quite satisfied already about that. I never think I would get rid of so many things but yeah, it just makes more room and it is a satisfying thing about it and uh, yeah and I'm giving stuff away to people and makes them happy at the same time, which is good. So it's all good for everyone. I am good to go now and I will see you tomorrow for another vlog. Bye! <laughs>